Hello guys, Beastie here with another video, and today I am going to make a new series called What Happened. As you saw before the first regular season game, I made predictions for every single game of the season, and week one was over a month ago, it was like a month and a half ago, I made that video. And a lot of things happened ever since. So what happened? How accurate was I? So if I was wrong, I get, well, I get a winning record or a losing record. If there's a tie, I'll get point, it'll go, I'll just get point five points, and I'm going to see how much points I can get. At maximum my, a week I can get is 16, if I get every single game right, but 16 probably won't happen. And during the What Happens series, I'm going to quickly say what I think about all the teams, and I'm going to predict next, I'm going to re-pick the next week's games, which is the reason why I'm doing it tonight, right now, is because it's Thursday, and I want to get done before a Thursday night game. Let's continue though. So I got 0.5 points right there. I predicted Steelers. It was a tie. That's the, now Steelers. Yeah, our offense cannot be um, throwing. I mean, giving the ball back over six times a game. You don't. Lovey and Bell didn't even need to be there. James Conner blew up. Browns. Yeah, guys. Good job for staying in there. Good job for tying. But, you get the ball six times, five more times, and you gave the ball to the Steelers, and you still come up short with a tie. Short, you still come short with the win at home. That's pathetic. That's why you guys went 0-16 in the 1-15 and year before that. You guys have to close out. Chiefs, Chargers, Chiefs, offense looked amazing. Chargers, you got to get a fast start. You always have a bad start. Last year went 0-4 and finished out 9-7. You can't have an 0-4 start this season. Bengals, Colts. Um, Bengals impressed me a lot. Good job. Colts. Uh, Andrew Luck, you played amazing. Colts defense, though, needs to step up. Titans. You looked pathetic in my mind. I mean, Mar I mean, no, I know Marcus Mariota's out, but Titans, I mean, Dolphins, you played good. You played like a superstar team. Good job. Texans. Patriots. Texans. Don't worry, Deshaun Watson will come back to his old self. He's still coming off an ACL injury. Patriots, you have Tom Brady, Belichick, you're going to win. Bills, Ravens. Bills, don't know what you were thinking by starting Nathan Peterman. He threw five picks against the Chargers in the first half last season, and he led you guys to a 40-0 to loss, and then Josh Allen comes in making it 7-3. to Josh Allen, by the time of this video, Josh Allen has been announced starter for Week 2. And Ravens? Offense looked amazing. Defense looked amazing. Good job. Seahawks, Broncos. Oh, I haven't been doing my points. 0.5 points. And out of all this, from that week, from that video over a month and a half ago, I have 1.5 points. The only predictions I got from the away versus home in the AFC was this. Um, I had the Steelers with the tie, but the only one I got completely right was the Patriots with the win. I predicted Chargers, Colts, Titans, uh, and bills now knowing that they started nathan peterman i would have switched it but i didn't make a video in time to say that so i still got the prediction wrong um seahawks broncos seahawks offenses look pretty good with speaking that i was concerned about it going into the season good job broncos i think defense needs to step it up i wasn't i mean the seahawks offense i think is better than what people think but you're supposed to have one of the best defenses in the league. That's like your identity. You need to hold the Seahawks to lower than 24 points at home. Jaguars, Giants. Oh, by the way, I got that one right. That's 2.5 points. Jaguars, Giants. I have predicted this as an upset, and I kept the upset thing all the way through. So this pick would have been wrong. Jaguars, good defense. Jalen Ramsey. You got to get better with that like shifty type of wide receiver because Odell had a day on you, 11 receptions for 111 yards. Giants. You look, your offense needs, Eli Manning, you basically need to get the ball to everyone else besides Saquon Barkley and Odell Beckham. Saquon Barkley had a good day. I mean, he only had a big 68-yard touchdown, the rest was stopped, but that's how running backs go. You get a little carry, a little carry, a little carry, then you get a big carry. That's how the league goes. Jets, Sam Darnold, you looked really good for your first NFL game. I mean, besides the first play, he went 16 for 20 besides the first play. The first play was a pick six. But besides that amazing game, you only missed four 
four passes and threw for two touchdowns. Matthew Stafford, you look terrific. You are not the type of quarterback to throw four interceptions. And the defense didn't look good either. You allowed Sam Darnold, I think, to put up a... They put up a lot of points. I don't know because I know the Jets' defense and special teams got a few touchdowns too. So I don't know how much exact they scored. But you have Matt Patricia, a defensive coordinator, before he became the head coach, you should not be allowing over 40 points to a rookie quarterback. Sam's Raiders. Raiders, you need to finish out. You had a great first half. I don't know what happened. Derek Carr, you need to step up. You're going to be the reason why the Raiders go to the playoffs or have a horrible season. Rams. Slow start, but you guys got started. I'm really hyped to see what they got. Redskins, way to run the ball. They had it. Perrine got a whole bunch of yards, and so did Adrian Pearson. Good job. Cardinals, your offense looks like garbage out there. And there's nothing else I can say. Falcons, played good against played good against a good team. You came up short. Eagles, you're a Super Bowl team, and you showed why. If you can win games with Nick Foles, you can relax on Carson Wentz. Bears, Packers, I don't know why I have the Bears winning. Packers obviously won that. All right, let's see how much points I actually got there. So I'm at 2.5 right there and 3.5 there. And out of these ones, I'm 4.5. The Eagles got the touch uh, win. And I got uh, 5.5, 6.5, and 7.5. All right, Bears, Packers, Bears, great game. Khalil Mack, this is why the Bears paid you the big bucks. Keep it up. But you need you need to keep it up through the fourth quarter. I mean, I know Aaron Rodgers had a field day on you guys in the fourth quarter and took the win. Packers, you the people besides Aaron Rodgers need to step up because the Packers, I think, have enough talent to where they can be in games without Aaron Rodgers. So don't Packers, people around Aaron need to step up when he's out. And Cowboys, Panthers, get and Cowboys offense looked horrible. They shut down Zeke and Dak did not have a good day. Pan, uh, Panthers. Their offense, I think, needs to do a little bit better too. But either way, I liked it. They held Zeke down to low, hold the Cowboys to eight points. Good job. Buccaneers. All I have is two words to say, and that's Ryan Fitzmagic. He needs to keep it up. Saints. Offense was great. Drew Brees played great. Defense, you need to improve. I think you will. You need to step it up, though. Uh, Brian Fitzpatrick should not be putting up over 400 yards on you and uh, taking the win 48-40 to 40 over you guys. You guys are way better than that. 49ers, Vikings, Jimmy G. Don't worry. You played like the, one of the top three defenses in the league. Stuff like that's going to happen. Minnesota makes a whole bunch of great quarterbacks look bad. Just keep your head up. Keep it rolling. Minnesota. You looked really impressive. Good job. I love the chemistry between Kirk Cousins and Adam Thielen and Savon Diggs. And Delvin Cook had a good game. Let's continue. Now my redo of week two picks. These are going to change. Obviously, I won't get them all right. Ravens, Bengals. The reason why I'm making this video tonight. Ravens, Bengals. I would like to go Bengals. I really like what they did against the Colts. But you're also talking about the Colts, but I feel like they're only two big weapons being Andrew Locke and T.Y. Uh, Hilton. So, and the Ravens looked really impressive against a Bills, the Bills defense. Because Bills were known for their defense last year, not their offense. And the Ravens exploited that defense. So I like the Ravens offensively and defensively better than the Bengals. Chargers, Bills. By how the Chargers played... Against the Chiefs. I'd love to say Bills. But this is going to be Josh Allen's first start against a really good defense. I just can't do it to him. Can't give it to him. Raiders, Broncos. Sorry, Derek Carr, you're playing one of the best defenses in the league, even though their secondary got weaker. You're still going to get rushed all day by Bradley Chubb and Von Miller. I mean, this is a Broncos win for me. Patriots, Jaguars. If Jaguars' defense played like they get, did against the Giants and shut down Grant. All, if the Jaguars shut down Gronk, they win the game. If they don't, Patriots are going to win. I think Jalen Ramsey, talk, he talks a lot of smack about Gronk, and I think he's going to back it up. Well, let's go, Jaguars. Because he really didn't talk too much smack about Odell. He said, he'll have his plays, I'll have my plays. He said, Gronk is not as good as he thinks. You put him up against a good corner, he said he has a bad day. So he needs to keep, keep it up, and I think he will. Dolphins, you looked amazing. Jets, you looked amazing. 
Sam Darnold, though, on how few mistakes he made as a rookie quarterback that he only threw for five incompletions, counting the pick six. I'm giving it to the Steelers. I mean, the, the friggin' Jets. Now, I, the only reason I said Steelers because obviously Steelers is right under it. Chiefs, Steelers. I think the Chiefs offense is going to be too deadly for the Steelers. I mean, yeah, yeah, they turned the world the way six times, and the Chiefs offense is going to take those five extra turnovers and add so much to it. Texans, Titans. Didn't really like how either one of them played the next week, but I... I really didn't like how the Titans played, so I'm going to go with Texans over here in the divisional game. Colts, Redskins. Redskins, they really impressed me. I think they showed that they could be a real big deal this year, and they could get second in that division or give the Eagles a run for their money. I am going to go Redskins. Browns, Saints. I'm going to go Saints. I Yeah, sorry, Browns. You're going to the Saints stadium. And if you get five extra turnovers, you should be winning those games, and Drew Brees will make it a nightmare for you. Lions, 49ers. Lions, you played like garbage to a rookie quarterback. Jimmy Garoppolo is better than a rookie quarterback. All the Bears have to do, I think, to win this game is to give a lot of pressure on Khalil Mack. I mean, have Khalil Mack pressure Russell Wilson like there's no tomorrow. And he pressured Aaron Rodgers like no tomorrow. And I think it's going to happen with Russell Wilson. He is one of the he's a top three defensive player in this league. Eagles, Bucks. Can Ryan Fitzpatrick do it again? I, I, I don't know if he will or not. I like the Super Bowl champs over the Buccaneers, but this is one where the Bucks surprised me with week one with the Saints. I think they can surprise me again and beat the Eagles. So that one I will not be surprised if the Bucks win. Right now, I just don't have that feeling that the Bucks should be going for the win. Giants, Cowboys. All the Giants have to do to win that game is stop Zeke. You stop Zeke, you win that game. Panthers, Falcons. Falcons, I feel like their offense needs to be utilized more. They have so many weapons in Devontae Freeman, Tevin Coleman, Julio Jones, Muhammad Sanu, Calvin Ridley. I mean, look at all those weapons. If you can stop Cam Newton from rushing the ball, I think I'm going to go Falcons. Vikings. Packers. Packers struggled with... Uh, Packers struggled against the Bears. And sadly, the Vikings is a better defense. I mean, I'm going to go Vikings here. I mean, it's tough. In Lambeau, Green, Aaron Rodgers is so good. And um, Cardinals, Rams. Cardinals didn't look impressive. Rams looked really impressive. I'm going to give that to the Rams. Now, the ones that could surprise me, I'm going to mention what ones could surprise me and shred my thing. And that's going to be the Bengals. The Bengals can shred them tonight with a win. The I really don't see the Bills doing it with Josh Allen playing that good of a defense. Once they can shred it, I think the, if Derek Carr plays a good game, they can mess up my bracket. Um, Dolphins can easily mess it up. Steelers could easily mess it up. A lot of these games, I think, are going to be just so good. And a lot of teams, and that one makes the NFL so hard to predict. Is I'm going to go, I, I watched the pros predict games last week. And I'm going to tell you what they said and why this is how it is. I watched the thing. Three out of four said Steelers. It was a tie. Um, I can't really remember this one or that one, but... Titans, Dolphins, I think that might have been a split. Texans, Patriots, it was pretty much a te uh, Patriots thing. Uh, Ravens, it, everyone picked the Ravens pretty much. Broncos, Seahawks, I think it was split, but if anything, the Broncos had the edge. Um, Jaguars and Giants split. I think Rams had the edge. I can't really remember about the Lions. They did say Redskins. So they A lot of people who do study it saw a lot of good things with the Redskins. I didn't see it for Falcons and Eagles because it was after that Thursday night game. Uh, I think people split Packers. Uh, I mean, full-out Packers. Um, I think one person said Cowboys. I think they split the 49ers and Vikings. And this is the reason. This was the one I really wanted to mention. This pick, when I watched them, peep, all four of them said Saints. And then the person who predicts the score predicted a 28-14. to 14, and obviously, all NFL 
analytics are like make a, a lot of games close and she said 20 to 14 which she said would be a blowout and it just wasn't the case i mean ryan fitzpatrick threw all over him. so the nfl is so hard to predict and so yes am i gonna get every single one of these picks right probably not i mean i might get lucky and get them all right uh but i really didn't predict a lot of upsets either I went on the safe side, I feel like, with every single pick. And there's gonna be upsets. Like I said, I really have a good feeling that the Bengals can easily upset the Ravens. So what one do I think has the best chance to making my prediction wrong, I should say? The best one, I think, to make my prediction wrong. Like, if I was, like, really uncertain, that's going between two. And that's the Ravens and Bengals tonight. But I'm gonna have to pick... Chiefs Steelers. The Steelers could throw up, put up 50 points on the Steelers. It will be hard for the Chiefs to put up 50 points back. But that's what happened in week one and what I have to say about week two. And you could expect another one of these videos coming out next Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday before that Thursday night game on next week. And like I said, what I do is I analyze what happened in the last games and I predict with knowing what happened in the previous games, I'm going to predict the next week, knowing what's going on, not from that month ago when I had no idea what was going on. All right, see you all next time. Peace out, y'all.